let's find the least common multiple of 8, 9, and 12. And we'll start by writing the prime factorization of each number. 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. 9 written as a product of primes is 3 times 3. And then what is 12 written as a product of primes? 12 is, let's see, 2 times 6. 6 isn't prime, but 6 is 2 times 3. So 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. Once we have everything written as a product of primes, we can see the least common multiple. We write down every single different prime factor the most number of times it occurs in any one factorization. In other words, notice we have the prime factor of 2 occurring. It occurs 3 times here, 0 times here, and it occurs 2 times here. So what's the most number of times that the prime factor 2 occurs in any one factorization? It would be right here. It occurs three times here. What other prime factors do we have? The only other prime factor that appears at all is the prime factor three. It occurs two times here and one time here. None here. So what's the greatest number of times that the prime factor three occurs in any one factorization? It would be right here when it occurs two times, so I'll circle that. No other prime factors occur except twos and threes, so now I have my least common multiple. Two times two times two, greatest number of times it occurred here, times three times three. And what is that product? Let's see, that's eight times nine, that is 72. Please don't forget what LCM, least common multiple, means. 72 is a multiple of 8, it's a multiple of 9, and it's a multiple of 12. And in fact, it's the smallest number that's a multiple of all three of these numbers.